Wow. What a season it's been. Where were you? Like, uh, I was there. I was there. I mean, I didn't dazzle with the dancing, but I mean, I, I don't want to use the J, the, the journey word. Yeah. But, but what a wild ride. Yeah, and, and absolutely. And how far they've come. The confidence, the ability, everything's just just grown so much during that time. No. I'm so proud of them all. I feel like a Aren't proud you? parent. So. And we are now <laughs> so close because it is time to find out who will take home the coveted Mirrorball trophy. Oh, well, the audience votes are in. Samantha and Gustavo, Ant and Alex and Lisa and Ian, the very best of luck to you all. I can now reveal the couple placed third in this year's grand finale is... It's Ant and Alex. Taking out third spot, Ant and Alex. I'm so happy you did that. I'm so happy you did that. You are that. Come on over and join us, guys. How are you feeling about that result? Do you know what? That is so fair. I can't believe I'm stood there with Sam and Lisa. They are phenomenal dancers. Um, and with Alex uh, as my mentor and teacher, and she's got me as far as she could. I'm super proud to have come for her. Yeah. And, and on, on paper, it seems like such a, a, a leap for you to, to dance. SAS Australia guy. Mm. What made you be brave and, and come on this show? When some, someone first asked me to do Dancing with the Stars, I was, I was like, no. And someone said, oh, Ant Middleton's scared of dancing. And when they said that I was scared of dancing, I thought, ah, they played mind tricks on me and it, and it worked. <laughs> um, and no, I always uh, talk about uh, psychological resilience and stepping outside of your comfort zone. I always say there's no growth in comfort. And I thought, wow, this is a prime opportunity. You know, I'm at the top of my game wherever we are. We all are. Um, and to step down that ladder and start on the first rung is, is intimidating. It's, 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 you know, you're gonna be emotional, the vulnerability is gonna be there, but I've really, really enjoyed it. And I would urge anybody to step outside of their comfort zone, get a pair of dance shoes on and hit the dance floor. Great. Very good. Thank you. Any final words, Alex? I'm just so grateful that we get this opportunity to dance and show what we love to do every single day on this floor and teach someone who's not from our world and gets to come in and experience the magic. And you are my winner. So thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Lovely. That's beautiful. I just want to thank the judges as well. The judges are phenomenal, Craig. You're raw and real. I absolutely love that. Helen, with your wisdom and knowledge that you bring is phenomenal. The glitz, the glamour and professionalism with Shana and, oh, you know, leaving the best till last, in my opinion. <laughs> Thanks, you know, he's such a <laughs> Thanks, gentleman. Um, Thanks, buddy. He's, he, he brings positivity to the dance floor. He brings positivity and good energy and good vibes everywhere he goes. So thank you so much. Thank you. As do you, Anne. You can, I think you can write our intros for next season, actually. Absolutely, yeah? yes. As we send them off, please put your hands together one more time for Ant and Alex <laughs> leaving the ballroom for the very last time. We're going to scoot in here between you guys now. This is where it gets really serious. Oh, yeah. OK. Take a deep breath, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment we have all been waiting for. We are down to the two last couples. Now, our winner tonight will take home $20,000 for their chosen charity and the Dancing with the Stars Mirrorball Trophy. It is now time to announce the winner. Best of luck to both of you. The winner and champion of Dancing with the Stars 2024 is...
strongest man won that. Thank, Thank you. you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. And thank you. Beautiful girl. Beautiful girl. Congratulations to Lisa and Ian. Oh. How are you feeling right now? Do you know this man has not won this before? And I'm so no, thrilled I, I to did be part my... of that win. I did my first series on Strictly Come Dancing in 2004. So it was 20 years ago and I never won the Mirable Trophy. So I am so over the moon. And I got him over the line! You did! And you have done it now, absolutely. But Lisa, come on, wow, what about you? You've won gold Logies, you've now won a Mirable Trophy. Oh, this one's so beautiful, but there's only one. What happens? Like, he's going back to the UK. What happens? Do I keep it here? Just enjoy it by correspondence. <laughs> six months on, six months off, hey? Yeah, what do you reckon? Okay. Tell, tell us about your chosen charity too, Lisa. Um, I, I've actually split it between two charities, the first being the uh, RCD Foundation, which is uh, raising money for science and care in paediatric brain cancer, and the second is uh, a formidable woman who has started a incredible... Um, a, an app and it's the Harrison Riedel Foundation to help teenagers who might be struggling mentally and that just it's an app to help kids if they need to get online and get help quick. Brilliant. That's you that are a beautiful fantastic. human being, Lisa McKeown. Well, you really are. Any final words from you, Mr. Ian Way? I just want to say um, you're a star. You, you've been amazing. Uh, I think everybody in the production is. Uh, we work so hard, the pros, the celebs, and the judges. You work fairly hard, but... <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, it's just a dream come true. Yeah. What can I he, say? Here, here. I tell you, you guys are ace. Congratulations. Well done. Well deserved. And commiserations, of course, to our runners-up, Samantha and Gustavo. Gustavo, Sam, how are you feeling right now? Uh, if I was going to lose to anyone, the classiest woman I've ever met, Lisa McCune. <laughs> Like, seriously, the classiest and kindest. And I've had the best dance partner in the whole show. I, I thank you, production. <laughs> I honestly have. If it wasn't for you, I would not be here. But I, I'm just happy to be standing here next to him. It's been great. Gustavo, you bring so much passion, so much love. How, how are you feeling right now? A little bit disappointed. But <laughs> <laughs> it's part of the game. I just want to say some... Uh, Thank you for all your hard work, you, your commitment to, to everything I said when you understand me. <laughs> it, it's beautiful. You are really like pasta. I never get tired of it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, what an amazing series and what an amazing night. Such brilliant dancing. A big thank you to everyone involved. Our dancing stars, of course. Our judges, Craig Revel Hallward. Helen Ritchie, Shana Burgess, and Mark Wilson. And also a big thank you to our musical director, Dorian West, and our creative teams, and all of our crew here in the studio as well. What an amazing job you guys do. And thank you, Chris. Thank you. Very kind. Thank you. Will you come back? I don't know. Do you guys think I should come back? How are you feeling? Okay, I'll come back. I'll, Excellent. I'll be here. Well, we hope you've enjoyed the series. Thank you so much for watching. And for the last time, good, good night, night, Australia. Australia. This has been the most amazing season of Dancing with the Stars. I think possibly the most exceptional grand finale I have seen ever on this show. Yeah, yeah, yeah.